Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about resins and what I've been doing with them. All right, so you can see I've got stuff laid out. Um, I've actually, I've been printing a lot. If you guys have been following my channel for social media, anything for any length of time, I'm a, I just love 3D printing. Uh, I 3D print so much stuff for cosplay. And I mean, it's just, it's crazy. And one of the things that uh, I really wanted to, discuss is I have people ask me several times a week, Greg, they ask me about my printers, they ask me about resins. And first and foremost, I want to say a big thanks and shout out to Resi One. Um, they have been phenomenal with helping me and the channel and answering questions and understanding resins and stuff. And, and there's also some other folks, uh, Nathan, he was another one that I really learned a lot from when it came to these resins and stuff. So yeah, big shout out for all the assistance with people that I've talked to and uh, helped out. But these are some of the things that I've used. Now, I will put links in the description. I'm not, I'm not going to fill you full of techno babble, none of this other stuff. I'll put links to all the resins and everything and you can go in and look. But I wanted to show you things how I've adapted the resins that I've been using. And first and foremost, we'll look at, uh, as you can see, I've got a little example of some stuff down here. Uh, the resins we I've been using here lately, EC51. Uh, EC51 is actually, it's a standard resin. Uh, this is actually some really, really good, good resin. I like it. Um, the next one I've been using, M58. M58, um, I used a lot of M58 with the ATRT, the uh, ATST. I used a lot, and I actually used M58 with uh, some uh, figures and, and and stuff like that. The anti-impact, uh, this thing statue bust is actually printed in anti-impact. Um, I wanted to see what it would do. So uh, what I anti-impact is basically like what it says. It's it's designed to be more resilient from impacts um, but honestly I grabbed it and I said let's see what it does let's see how it prints and you know we got some good detail there's nothing there's nothing wrong with it it did a great job primarily with the anti-impact if you noticed uh, these white shocks right here those were anti-impact uh, there was some other pieces that are internal uh, that were anti-impact because it wears it doesn't wear as much. The next one, this one right here, TH72. TH72 has became my favorite uh, resin for a lot of the stuff I've been doing. And other than the AT, there's some, there's some parts for the ATRT that are TH72. That's where I got introduced to all of this was when I started building the AT, uh, uh, ATST and the ATRT was because of, of this and anti-impact m58 um th72 all of those are ones that i used in doing these right here and actually i have i've not posted any photos of these uh, i've got i printed three of these and uh honestly i've been it's like ah, what do i paint it I'm, I'm 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 the world's worst when it comes to trying to figure out how to paint things uh, but I do have one over here on my workbench that's primered. I just haven't got around to it yet. Um, but this is where it all really, really started uh, with the resin stuff. I've done other resin stuff, uh, but not to this degree when it came to building these fully articulated ATRTs. So this that's where I really got a good introduction to it. Now, if we jump forward you know, several, several months. And I said the TH72 has really became one of my favorites. Uh, I've been doing a lot of printing with Mythic, Mythic Legions and stuff like that. And uh, I've been using TH, uh, TH72 primarily for, for this here lately. Uh, this is one of the latest head sculpts uh, that I've done. 
Uh, I have used EC51 for some of these. I've used M58, uh, but T872, I've really, really uh, have enjoyed it. Right there, another little sculpt, tons of detail. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Uh, this whole piece here, the armor, uh, all of this stuff was uh, TH-72, so uh, yeah, it, it really does hold It's uh, the detail and everything like that. Along with TH-72, I've been experimenting uh, a lot with, I don't have it here on the table, but F-69 and F-80. F-80 is what I have found that I personally can get better stuff out of. And I think it's just because of my set. I'm still tweaking the settings. The elastic uh, resin, it's temperamental. And, and it's not the company. It's just, it's temperamental. You have to have the settings. And Resi 1 has a lot of profiles for all their resins, which is great. Those are wonderful starting points, if not actual manufacturing points. Um, a lot of these resins here, I've used the profile that was on their website and it's worked perfect f80 i had to tweak it a little bit had to get a little bit more help with it but the beauty of f80 is it's elastic like this right here is the same lower belt that i printed in th72 this is the same thing in flex right there and this is awesome the the flex I've done a lot of printing uh, here lately with the Flex, trying to get better and better at it. I actually have my um, AnyCubic uh, 4K. It's primarily, it's upstairs in my office. It is 100% dedicated to F80. F80 and F69, but primarily right now, F80 is all that I run through it. And I've been doing testing and testing and testing, uh, and it's came out really great. Uh, this is a tiger uh, neck cowl uh, that I've, I've printed, F80 again. If you have seen on Instagram uh, or anything, I've, social media, I posted some uh, head sculpts of this that I painted. The neck piece is flex. So it paints great. It, hold, it holds paint great. Uh, so yeah, F, F, F80, I love it. Um, I want to, one of the other things that, I, and again, I could tell you all kinds of the technical stuff. I wanted this video to be more of something that, how I'm using it, because I feel like that's more important, is these are things that I'm using. I've used a ton of different resin. A ton. The Resi 1 is by far my favorite for what I do. It works. It's just amazing. The T872, the reason why I like it is it has a little bit of a flex to it as well. It's it it doesn't it doesn't actually get super rigid. So for the Mythic Legion stuff, uh, it's actually been really, really good because since it has that little bit of a flex. Uh, it's a little bit forgiving when it comes to the pauldrons. Um, that is one of my next projects uh, with the F80 is I'm going to start printing some pauldrons and see how they work. Um, because honestly, I like having the TH72 pauldrons, uh, the M58 pauldrons. I like all the pauldrons. Um, but again, you know, you got to do a little sanding to get the holes to line up. But I'm curious with the uh, the F80. I've not yet uh, got to that point because I've been experimenting with these these lower these lower halves and some other things. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clean some of this stuff away, uh, and I'm gonna show you what I've also been printing with these two uh, resins. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, right here, six scale figures. This is what really, really just, I mean, I fell in love with, uh, I love six scale figures. I have ter a tremendous amount of, you know, hot toys and sideshow figures. Um, 
But I stumbled across a, a man, uh, Ricky May, and he had a clone trooper armor set for six scale. And I purchased it. And all of a sudden, me and him became, you know, buddies. There's uh, some other folks that I've been following on social media, Jason, and uh, that are really good customizers with uh, six scale figures. Uh, D wound. That's another one that that I follow a lot. But I wanted to to learn how and see if I could make my own six scale troopers. And I've I've made a few. Uh, I've got a couple back here. I've got a couple back here that I've done. But I wanted to show you what all it is. So basically, in a nutshell, we have a couple of different things. So this one over here, I printed with M58. And this one over here, I printed with TH72. They're both perfect. They, they're both fine. There's no issues with either one of them. Um, I personally, um, again, I like both of those resins. Uh, I think for, again, with that little bit of flex, the TH72 works a little bit better, especially when it comes to like the the bicep pieces and the forearms, there's a little bit of give there. So that's what I've primarily used. I wanted to do some testing just to see. So that's the reason why. Um, I've also gotten into the flex resins with uh, these particular figures is uh, on the neck seal is actually uh, 3D printed in F80. And also the hands, let me pop one off right here. This was huge uh, right here. I mean, we got, look at that. We have flexible a flexible hand. And that just took it to a whole nother level. The the hands that come with these, these $20 figures, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just, they're, they're hard hands. But to see, to be able to get flex to work with a hand and this neck seal, because before the neck seal, and this one actually trimmed. Uh, this one over here, it's a, it's a little taller. Uh, I still got to do a little bit of resizing. It's a little too, too fat uh, to go inside the, uh, the, the head. Oh, in case you're wondering, right there, boom. Um, but the, uh, the primary game changer for me was that. Being able to do the flex, uh, the F80 with that, and the neck seals. Before the neck seals, I was using black gaff tape, which it works too. But I think I, I think it was Jason I saw on Instagram where he done some neck seals, and I was like, oh, done. Actually, he was doing hands and stuff way before I was. And I watched, and I tweaked, and I just tried to find what I could do, and, and it, it finally all came together. Uh, tremendous amount of failures, uh, but that's part of it. But yeah, to, to be able to, uh, utilize that for, for this is amazing. But again, all of these resins, they're very versatile. You can do so much stuff with the resins. And again, tr there's tremendous amount of other resins that I have not tried uh, I actually did try some of the TH72 white, uh, and it, it was good too. Uh, I liked it. The I'm, I guess I'm used to using gray so much. <laughs> the The white was, I mean, the white it did great. Just like the the it was a new and improved, but honestly, uh, it, it all worked out. Also, uh, let me show you these. Uh, these were printed. Uh, M5, uh, M58, I printed these out. So, yeah. Let's see here. Um, and again, being... He fell. <laughs> it's holding on with a, a, a leaf and a prayer here. Uh, but, look, but look at that. I mean, I mean, to be able to do that with flex uh, is huge. And, and yes, in case you're wondering, all of this stuff has it was is test fitted. None of this is actually uh, uh, permanent, glued together, or anything like that. I always test fit all this stuff uh, just to, just so I know what's going on. Make sure everything's functioning like it should. 
and uh, so and so. So yeah, this particular figure here, the uh, the stand, he doesn't he doesn't like this stand that much. But there we go. Look, we're good to go again. But right there, boom. And then this hand here is the uh, the gripping hand to hold it. Come on. How awesome is that? I mean, you don't get no better than that. But anyway, that is what I'm doing with resin. These are the resins that I use religiously. Everything you see me post, it is, it is printed with these resins. Um, Resi 1. That's the resins I use. And I love them. And honestly, I... I just, I can't say anything negative about it. I truly can't. And, and that's not, that's just me saying I can't because it works. To be able to get the profiles and all the other stuff to go with your printer, uh, it's, it's just, it works. And they have a great support system. Everything about uh, their, their products is top notch in quality. So, but they are some other resins. That they make, they make a tough resin. I think there's a, 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 a 74. I haven't tried that one yet. There's a K resin. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look into that. But at the end of the day, primarily everything you've seen me printing lately has been TH72, F80, and the M58. That is right there. Uh, but again, the EC, the EC 51, it's a very good, a very good resin. And if you need something that's a little tougher, anti-impact, boom, can't go wrong with that either. Um, I will say this about the F80, it's thick. F80 and F69, it's like molasses. It's thick. It has a stronger aroma. Uh, well ventilated, with any of these resins, well ventilated areas uh, is a must. Uh, PPE gear, you know, gloves, keep them right here. Uh, so yeah, respirators, the whole nine yards. Always be careful of that. And there's all kinds of safety information as well. But guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it informative. I hope I could answer some of your questions. I hope I showed you enough of a diversity of things that I've been printing that uh, can sort of give you a broad spectrum of everything. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. How do you do that? Social media. All the links are in the description of the video. So when you click more to see the links to all the Resi 1 stuff, you'll see links to all my social media. So hit me up. Uh, I've actually recommended printers. I have recommended uh, Resi 1 to a large number of people because if I'm using it, and I like it, then I'm going to recommend it. 100% going to recommend it. Um, I will I will say this. Um, I, I, I forgot about these uh, these badges. Uh, yeah, these were EC51. Look at that. So, uh, yeah, I've done some badges and uh, done some uh, apologies. I wasn't prepared for this part. And uh, done some uh, graphite. So, yeah, and I've, I've printed little things, you know, for cosplay and stuff. But anyway, um, definitely check out the links. Check out all the information. Find out what works for you. And again, if, if there's something that I can help or answer a question, hit me up. I've, I'm a firm believer in sharing information. And yeah, but that's how you find all the links in the description. Click more, boom. If you're watching this video, if you're enjoying it, if you want to see more, consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure, though, when you subscribe to turn on notifications. That way you'll know when my next video uh, drops or if I do a live stream or when I do a live stream. And finally, please, always remember, resins that you can use to print your toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.